Peter told us he could be with us longer because his promise got cancelled. Remember that we have a promise tomorrow morning at 11. What is a promise and what is an appointment? A promise is a declaration that one will do a certain thing or that a certain thing will happen. An appointment is an arrangement to meet with someone at a particular time and place. Peter told us he could be with us longer because his appointment got cancelled. Remember that we have an appointment tomorrow morning at 11. He failed to keep his promise to stop smoking. You should keep your promise to return what you said you would. When they got married, they promised to be faithful to each other. From now on, I promise to be more considerate to all the members of my family. I never promised you a rose garden. That's a very old song. My grandfather promised to come back after the war, but he never returned. We shouldn't make promises that we don't intend to keep. A vow, a solemn promise. Some people of a religious sect take a vow of celibacy. They made a vow to search for the man who killed their friend. After going through the pain of losing his father early in life, Miguel vowed to never take anyone for granted again. A covenant is some sort of an agreement, but it's much more than that, and it's very much related to the word promise. The biblical definition of a covenant the promises made to humanity by God as revealed in Scripture, the agreement between God and ancient Israel in which He promises to bless them if they were faithful to Him. A pledge is a serious or formal promise, especially one to give money or to be a friend or something you give as a sign that you shall keep a promise. He gave her a ring as a pledge of his unending love for her. Scores of people made pledges to the orphanage. I take you to have and to hold for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward till death do us part. I promise to love and cherish you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better or worse, forsaking all others, keeping myself only unto you, for so long as we both shall live. Celibacy is the state of abstaining from marriage and sexual relations. The word solemn means very formal 
and serious. To forsake means to abandon, and it also means to renounce or to give up. The monk has decided to live a life of celibacy. He is celibate. Yesterday's affair was solemn. All the people came in black formal attire. When it comes to marriage vows, the expression to forsake all others means to be faithful and true to one's spouse. Whenever we hear the word score, what we usually think about is the number of points or goals that we can achieve on a test or in a game. While that is correct, the word score also refers to a set or a group. Just as a dozen consists of 12, a score is a group or set of 20 or about 20. Scores of train passengers were injured in the disaster. We saw scores of people waiting in line by the pharmacy. Scores of people made pledges to the orphanage. Now, if you've been paying attention, you would know that earlier on I mentioned this exact same sentence. We have learned that a pledge is a promise. Now the question is, at least how many people promised to help the orphanage? We have learned that a score is equal to 20. Now if you answered 40 or about 40, then you are correct. Since a score equals 20, then scores should equal at least 40.